It is the continuation of a pattern of just bullying, narcissism, and honestly, like attacks on women at every turn. Mm -hmm. Should I get business cards made? The weather bitch? Let's get t-shirts. Weather bitch. (laughs) I'm going to get a t-shirt that reads, I'm with weather bitch. (laughs) I'm not surprised. You and I have had discussions about this for the last almost two years, right? Um, At the very beginning, when I started to speak up about Sean's parents and how they died tragically in nursing homes and how we found out that there were over 9,000 infected patients put into those nursing homes by the governor, Andrew Cuomo, and then how he covered up the numbers at least by 50% to sell his $5.2 million book. I got an email from someone that knows the family very well that said, you need to watch your back. And they were being very honest about that, that these are vindictive people. Uh, they, If anyone dares to go against them, they're going to do whatever they can uh, to silence them. So I wasn't surprised. And over the last year and a half, this isn't the first time that they've tried to demean me or my family. They uh, Rich as a party, which is Cuomo's main henchman that is still acting as his publicist, he um, went after my sister-in-law, Donna, on Twitter and told her to get a life, get a life oh after God. she was trying to find answers as to why her parents died. They also called us a death cult because we wanted to find out why the governor and his administration were treating seniors so badly by essentially, you know, putting uh, COVID and like wildfire through through dry brush. That's what the governor actually said. Putting infected patients into nursing homes was going to spread like wildfire. He said that before he did it. Um, so it, it doesn't surprise me that we're starting to find out they were actively trying to smear me like they were trying to do with uh, the sexual harassment victims. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all we know right now is what Chris Cuomo said. We haven't found out what Andrew Cuomo said. I'm sure it, it made Chris's comments look completely G-rated. But I want to talk to you because you and I haven't yet had the talk, had the chance to talk about Chris Cuomo. I mean, you've been coming on the show since its launch. First, just to talk about what Andrew Cuomo had done with your in-laws and so many 15,000 other seniors in New York State, his stupid book tour, using state employees to write the book and so on. And then it, it emerged, it evolved to where Cuomo got fired, Andrew Cuomo got fired. And now we see the brother fired. And it, the whole story really has come full circle for you. But I, I was at an event last week, J.D., and I was giving a speech or talking to some people. And um they asked me about this and I, you know, like, why did he deserve to get fired? Your thoughts. And I was like, a hundred percent, he deserved to get fired. And, it, it, and the reason is, and I want to get your reaction. It, it's not, it, it's not good what he did, you know, violating the ethics of journalism by helping his brother, using his post to help a sitting politician who happened to be his brother. But it's about so much more than that. To me, it's about the, the repeated, consistent breaking of trust with his audience. And why did he do it over and over the repeated breaking of trust? He did it because of his narcissism, because of his sense of entitlement. I was just thinking about it going back. Let's go back to, because you and I have talked about all this. Let's go back to um, the, when the COVID story broke. Okay, let's just start there because we could go back further. But And the testing, something you raised questions about at the time and, and thereafter. To me, that's exhibit A in the story of Chris Cuomo's narcissism in the course of this pandemic. So what happened with the testing? He got VIP COVID tests before nursing homes could ever get them. So in the early stages of the pandemic, when the tests were, you know, no one could get them, including nursing homes, they could not test incoming patients to see if they had COVID. They were prohibited to do that. Um, So, but in the meantime, we learned that Chris Cuomo and others, friends and family, were getting VIP COVID tests. And what had to happen was the testing had to go to their homes. So the state resources, um, the, the, you know, the people from the hospital or the state troopers would go out to the Hamptons to do the, the test on Chris Cuomo. And then they would have to drive upstate a couple of hours to get that test done. So they were already abusing these tests for friends and family uh, when it could have been used elsewhere to actually save lives 
of people like my in-laws. So that's the beginning of how we're seeing that state resources were abused. And by the way, that's against the law, not only Chris Cuomo, but Chris Cuomo's sister and uh, Chris Cuomo's uh, brother-in-law, who was Kenneth Cole, you know, the designer of the shoes, Kenneth Cole. So he was also getting these VIP COVID tests and state judges here in New York state, which by the way, I filed a complaint against that's like giving a gift to somebody, uh, a state judge. And that's also against the law. She's not supposed to be abusing her power to get these perks like a VIP COVID test that essentially no one else could get. Yep. Right. So, but he, and by the way, he's our age, you, Chris Cuomo and I are all the same age. We're all 51 and he had no business getting those tests. He didn't need a test more than the senior citizens who were dying and really needed to know whether they had it in those nursing homes. But he was more important. And that's the theme you see with this guy at every turn, right? He gets diagnosed with COVID ultimately while he's covering this story. He walks out and about in the Hamptons outside, right? And this is before, listen, I will say right now, My God, we know a lot more about the the disease and it doesn't transmit effectively outside. I don't know of any cases that have been identified as having occurred outside. But at the beginning of the pandemic, we did not know that. And Chris Cuomo thought, even though he'd been diagnosed with COVID, it'd be just fine for him to walk around the Hamptons, even though no one was doing that at that point. People were still very terrified of the virus. Why? Why was he okay doing it? Because he was more important. And we wouldn't have even known it if it hadn't been that guy who wound up speaking to the Post, right? Who's like, he... I I told him he should be quarantining and he yelled at me. Yeah, yeah. And he lied to his viewers as well, right? Every night he was pretending to do his show live from his basement. Meanwhile, he's out doing whatever he wants and he gets caught and he and he threatens the guy on the bike. I think Tucker Carlson had him on a show. And this guy is a Democrat. He admitted that he was like, but I'm seeing Chris Cuomo, the hypocrite who's supposed to be inside quarantining because he apparently has COVID. Yep. Which he probably found out from one of Andrew's tests that should have gone to an elderly person. So then um, after that, we see the fake emergence from the basement tape. I mean, the most absurd CNN segment ever. And that's saying a lot. He he literally fakes his emergence from the basement is the very first time. It's a lie. He's lying to his audience. It's a massive break of trust. It's CNN's fault 100 percent, just as much as it is Chris Cuomo's. That is not just a Chris Cuomo problem. 